Good evening and welcome to the October 18th, 2022 uh, Town of Osmond Planning Board meeting. Um, the first item this evening is River Knoll uh, finding statement. So from the last uh, the last meeting, um, we went through. Take oh, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, we'll take attendance. So I think we are town attorney. Kathy Delancey, Planning Board Attorney. Valerie Minasha, Planning Board Consultant. Yes, you are still consulting engineer of the Planning Board. Sandy Nelly, Secretary of the Planning Board. Donna Shah, Planning Board Member. Jim Bacinas, Planning Board Member. Jason Venture, Planning Board Member. Carolyn Stevens, Planning Board Chair. Valerie, you get us started. So at the last meeting, we went through uh, a draft of the finding statement. Uh, there were a number of comments that were uh, provided by the board. I went through and um, incorporated them into the finding statement, recirculated it. Uh, Donna had a few minor edits, which I incorporated. So the, the final draft, uh, excuse me, the final um, finding, draft findings were sent to the board this morning. And uh, we have a few remaining comments just to address uh, from Jason. And so I thought it'd be good just to kind of run through those comments really quickly and just to see where the board stands on incorporating them or not. And then if you're comfortable with me making the final edit, we could vote on the finding statement with, you know, noting the amendments that we need to be made. So the first was, um, on page four, um, so this one was, uh, Jason had a comment, um, should we or do we want to somehow note that while the planning board accepts these anticipated price points, as presented by the applicant, if the planning board has not verified these anticipated price points against the current market. Um, the concern from the board originally was this particular column had like, had was entitled like, um, price, it was actually the uh, sale price, and then the board asked me to um, change it so that it's, it's clear that it's anticipated and it's not necessarily the sale price, so I can amend it even further. I just need direction from it. If, if that's the case, we can strike my this. If, if the anticipated protects us from making it sort of yeah. For our final price, yeah. That's what we need. Okay, sorry. Okay. Then, yeah. So. All right. So then the second one, I think we addressed this, uh, was whether it's permissible to design affordable units that are of lower quality as admitted by the applicant than the market rate units. Um, you know, technically, yes. Um, for the most part, as we said, as we, we discussed earlier that for the most part that because it doesn't happen, but if it does, it's just slightly lower quality. It's not, you know, internal. Yeah, it's not internal. Okay, so page five is the table. Um can you ask for the I think we can just delete the word. So we can we can delete the word. <laughs> Page six, you recommended uh, removing the cohort, typically 55 to 80 years old, seeks to share their responsibility in maintaining more of their own. Um, we can, we can uh, remove that if you like. I mean, the, the point of this particular uh, Section is to just really identify the, the the public needs and objectives and benefits, and to provide a little bit of background. But we can remove that. Subject. As long as that's not deemed our fight. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, technically, yeah. So, if you'd like me to remove it, then we can. I think if we remove it, it still says enough about who it is, and okay. throughout the document that it's empty nesters, there won't be school kids. The implication is there without. Are we okay with removing that sentence? Yeah. Um, 
then the next page is all right so page 10. Um, you had a comment on do not agree versus finding and this deals with uh children's play area I get that it wouldn't be used much, but I don't know that it's completely unnecessary in development where people are going to kill the children's But maybe we can leave it in and say, renders the children's play area less necessary than in a non-age restricted development. Well, I think you could just say that he needs the variance with respect to the children's play area and let him make the variance after that. Right. Okay, well, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. just Strike it out because yeah. you know, it doesn't matter. We need we don't need to make a finding about whether the variance can be right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then the question you also had a question of interpretation of dealing with like in addition subject interpretation. This was one issue where we've never finalized whether that variance is necessary or not for that particular section. And that was one that I think the board was going to kind of deal with in the future. So, so, but it would be our interpretation. It would be this not, yeah. So I can say, uh, subject to the town's interpretation or the building inspector's interpretation. Yep. Next comment. On page 14, mm -hmm. they, you had concerns with the word mature retrieved. I'm happy to say retrieved. I don't think, I mean, this is the part, I don't think it was an intent to really just try to, I mean, we're not really defining it, it's just basically saying that 40% of the trees on the project site were retrieved. But is there a definition for mature retrieved in the code? No. no. This is, this How is about regulated trees. Uh, no, I mean, I can't, I mean, we can, I mean, we'd have to go back and take a look to see uh, each and every tree, whether so that. I'm not trying to ask for that. Right. So, I mean, we can just remove it and just call it trees. And this is, this, this information is taken from the DEIS. So basically, you know, that, that was their. Uh, that was the language the applicant yeah. used to describe the trees. Yeah, yeah, that would remain. I defer to. I think so because the tree yeah. could be a, like a little tiny yeah. back one. Okay, so that's so, good. Yeah. And I think we can hash out what mature means later, but I think okay. Right, and this is just this is just providing information on what is being proposed. So right. ultimately, this is not binding. That description is not binding into anything or making any determination of the you know it's the tree law or any sort of regulatory requirements. Right. I mean, if you were to come in with a landscape plan and obliterate all the big trees, then it wouldn't be consistent with the findings. Mm -hmm. Right. So, okay. Yeah. okay. On the page, uh, page 17, um, I just need to, that we can ignore that comment. Okay. Good. So the next page, page 20. Um, so just with the census, I looked in the DEIS because I did, I just, I took that mm -hmm. information from the DEIS and they did not identify the census, So I can, I can go back to the applicants and just double check. I mean, I can look at it I on the census too. I can, right, no, no, I can look at the census yeah. as well, but I just put, since I'm taking it from the DEIS, yeah. I can just double check that they took it from the like 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Especially if for some reason I look on the, the census website and there's a different, slightly different number, then I'll have to find out where they got. Started. Okay. All right. The other one is just a simple sentence correction. So I'll just probably, I was going to probably just end that. Uh... So this one is about the even less demand. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, the problem I had with this, which I think I said before, is that. This, this isn't all the recreational amenities that that the town of Austin offers. You know, there's a lot of things that the town offers that's that's not a school. Right. So how would you like us to how would you like to adjust that? Thanks. 
Um, I mean, I think Capitol and West Line, that that's why there's still going to be a recreation fee. Right, we do yeah. have that yeah. in the community. Is this just saying yeah. even less demand than the former project, which wouldn't have been age restricted? Right, yeah. So we then that's then a non right, then a non non a generic non age restricted right. for the former project, either right. one. And I agree with that representation because if mm -hmm. older folks they're not going to use a playground. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> I just yeah. Okay. On twenty one. So this deals with the um the yeah uh this deals with um the emergency services mm -hmm. um. And there's a there's a phrase in here that says development is not expected to generate calls at higher levels than non-age restricted development. Um, Jason, you wanted to know what the applicant demonstrates the same thing. And I, I with the understanding, I've been involved for about two years. So right. they may have written letters to the community service providers. They may have provided data that the applicant analyzed. I just know that on projects that I've done professionally, we often get commentary back from the ambulance provider mm -hmm. that. 55 plus neighborhoods do have a materially higher rate of calls. Right. So I think I maybe the ultimate finding changes like overall with the mitigation. But what if we what if we just suggested adding the development's not expected to generate a significant, you know, uh additional like not mm -hmm. expected, yes, a significant additional calls. So because that way, I mean there could potentially, but it's not gonna be to the point that it has a significant right. adverse impact. Right. Yeah. That works for me. Yeah. 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 Levels significantly higher. Yeah. Yes. So with Jason and I think you had a couple minor things in terms of like right yeah. yeah. enough, but that's fine because those are minor enough that doesn't change right. the, the comments yeah. he had were more substantive ones than like off the board. So um at this point in time, if we include those uh, those final changes, I think the FDIR, I mean the findings would be the question. Um, yeah. 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 I second the motion to accept the findings as well. So I just would like to say that I'm, I'm disappointed that we didn't do more thorough um, analysis of the wetlands and, and the natural the natural resources and then the EIS review. But I think that um, Valerie did an excellent job on this finding statement and then. Um, those things will be addressed. It's based on the funding statements. I appreciate all of that work. And Kathy, Michelle, and Dan. So I will vote yes to get funding here. Tim? Yes. I also want to add just a comment for the record that I'm in favor of development. I think this is a good site and a site that should be developed in this town. And it's just my hope that, because I've seen this elsewhere in this county where a developer with intentions to build something nice comes in, gets approvals, and maybe passes it to a different developer. That this be developed hopefully with the vision of this developer applicant and that stays involved. And the final project looks close to what we discussed for many years. And I'm going to vote yes. The next item is 13 Savannah Road uh, resolution. Thanks. Um, the, the version you have in front of you, it has Donna's 
uh, one additional edit from Ghana, which was gear projection for planting from the Cadiz landscape plan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, that's okay. <laughs> The motion? Yes. I'll make a motion to adopt the resolution of the Architecture Review Board approval for the Garth Vargas residence of 13 to Honolulu. There's a second. Second. Donna, can vote? Yes. 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 And now we are to the. <clears throat> Oh, 111 Narragansett um, Avenue, um, public hearing. Is it anyone here or on Zoom who has any comments with respect to the public hearing on this topic? Do you have any comments? Is anybody here for 111 Narragansett public hearing? Margaret? No, Sandy. Glenn, Sandy? Yes. Glenn has his hand up. If it's specific to the 111 Narragansett, <laughs> otherwise, I think we've closed the other. Yeah. So we don't oh. need to comment on something that's already been voted on and closed. No, just want to thank you. Okay. Thank you, yes. Glenn. Thank you. Good luck with your development. Yeah, yep. I'm certainly going to build a beautiful project. Thank, Thank you all very, very much. Thank you for your time. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. No comments. Uh, that was all, Sandy. No other hands up. Okay. So on, um, um, we close the public hearing. Do you have any comments? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think you sent in the new, a new landscaping plan. Yeah. But I didn't see, I, I have trouble seeing it on the computer. Did you bring anything with you? To, to I did. No, I sent it in. I didn't know that I gave you a print it off. Can you look at it on the, yeah. um, let's we'll see if we can. Basically, we took, there was a bunch of big trees that they misplaced there. You were on some right. So we took a right. few amount. Yeah. yeah, I can see you did that. But because I just, on my computer, I can't really see it very well. So Sandy will bring that up just so we can see it. And while she's doing that, I just had a question about um, this the staircase here. Okay. So you have a staircase here and a staircase here. Um I just it just doesn't is there a reason for that that you have just so you can um for the the uh, deck yeah so I think what it is is the drawing doesn't really convey it. Um it's on both ends. Right. So what what's what size is that desk? It's about this is how you see it. Okay. It's, it's, I mean, it's in the uh, right. setbacks. Right, right. I don't know if Donna's worried about compliance with zoning or just curious why, right? You have a egress from the front door and you just wanted a second means of egress. Yeah, yeah that's not going towards the back. So it just like, so it didn't seem like, I didn't, I just didn't understand it. Yeah, I mean, just so that you can exit off the deck okay. if you were okay. trying to exit or walk okay. around the deck. Okay. Okay, and then. Did you you change the color on the? Yes, yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, so I just have trouble reading that. I still, I think it's really hard to read. Still hard to read. Um, well, look down at the plant. Can you get on the planting schedule? Portion of existing something to retaining the wall to remain and be repaired as necessary. The only thing that was wrong with the trees. So I think three three trees were taken out. 
Okay. Big trees. I don't even know. Huh? Yeah, so I just I guess my question was so I, don't, I don't I need to see the old one so I can uh, so you have um so these these bottom ones, the hollies and all those are like little shrubs. Is that yeah. so there was somewhere else? Oh you have it here. Okay. So where are those little Three shrubs? Right. Where the the right, right. So he took he took a bunch of these out. Okay. They're all right next to each other, like right. you said, and then right. take a few of these out because they're right. all next to each other, like you said. Right. And then we just put the two in the corner here, just to just so to. So where are the tiny shrubs, the ones that are only getting close to the vine? Um, I guess these two here. Uh, he picked them off your plant. Your your. Um, this, yeah, but they're only getting close to these high, so I don't know why you. Well, there's stuff there already blocking that area. Oh, so oh, it's just okay. it's not really for. Uh, Screening. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We so don't much. need it for that. Okay. Yeah. And then what was the tree? Can you just pull it up? So, and you have one like a deciduous. I mean, pull it down. Sorry. There's a Chinese. There's a you know, wheat right. cherry is one here somewhere. That you're putting in? No, no, I think it's oh, existing. there. What, what's the one up there? Is that is that existing or? It's a weeding. Weeding? There's a weeding laurel up there. Oh, cherry. Cherry. Yeah. That's already there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. I think they just did. What? Because I'm moving the tree there, but I just to like to move the tree. Okay. Yeah. 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 Essentially, vote and then authorize me to do a draft resolution. Right. Um, we're actually, excuse me, usually normally authorizing the draft resolution to the public hearing open and then finalize the resolution the following meeting. Right now, we don't have anything on the agenda for November. So, to prevent a situation where we are only meeting to vote on a resolution, that maybe we can talk about, you know, potentially considering voting tonight. If there are specific conditions, we can talk about that. We can I can make sure they're on the record and then I can work on a resolution just to you know, circulate. We do have one other comment. Um, sure. and, and you might have already answered this and I apologize if I've already asked this, but you don't have any indication of outdoor lighting on there. Are you going to outdoor lighting? It's on it should be on the uh the actual drawing the layout for the oh okay. Yeah, the architect yeah. has it on it. Okay, so the, the main thing is when we when we um it's all down lighting. Perfect answer. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You just want that downward lighting and lower and the lower um counting. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 2700. Yeah. No, is that, is that what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But got it. Can I make a motion to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close the public hearing for 111 Narragansett Avenue. Um, second. Second. Yes. Um, uh, Jim, do you yes. vote? Yes. And I vote yes as well. Um, and then we want to, Valerie said, if we want to discuss any, or should we make the motion first? And then we'll discuss. I don't have it. But. So just the white. Yeah. No, it, was so already, it was already on the. the so, right. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. It's already on the right, plan. and I can always just make a note of our typical down lighting. You know, right, 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 just to have it in there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, we to the draft resolution. Yes, the resolution. We vote application. The resolution of Mario. Okay. Um, we make the motion. Uh, I'll make a motion to that's to, approve, that's why. to approve the application. To approve the application and to memorialize, memorialize it in the resolution. I don't have any use today. I will second that. Chair, how do you vote? Yes. Yes. I vote red as well. Well, Chair. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. Um, there's no meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to close tonight's planning board meeting. And adjourn. We have a second. Have you motion? Yes. 
done it? Yes. 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 Yes.